if I had realized how much work this project would be, I probably would not have taken it on. Hello, hello, my name is Shay and I like to make things and this week I made a chainmail dress out of pennies. So I went into this dress thinking it'd be like an easy week-long project. I'd drill the pennies, I'd sew them together, bada bing, bada boom, we got a penny dress, easy peasy. Spoiler alert, it was not easy. I am filming this three and a half weeks after I started the dress and I'm still not done with it. It has been penny hell. This dress was actually sponsored by Cash App. A bit more on that later, but they originally asked me to make a dress out of money. At first I was gonna make something out of like dollar bills and like fold them up and origami style them to a dress, but I kept thinking about it and I thought the idea of making something out of coins was really cool. The image that came to mind was that Harley Quinn party dress, so I was kind of going off that flapper vibe, very like showgirly, kind of like sparkly, shiny dress. So I put it up for a poll. Most people seemed to think it was cool, so penny dress was a go. So with that, let me tell you about how I chain mailed over 2,000 pennies into a dress. <laughs> So first things first, I scoured my entire house and collected all of our coins. We don't have like a ton, but we have like a lot. So now we sort. Pretty decent amount of pennies. A lot more than I thought I would get. <laughs> Let's wash them real quick and then I can start drilling holes in them. I just used soap and water, nothing fancy, but I wanted to at least think they were clean when they were on my body. I'm gonna be honest, I never drilled anything like this and machining is not my strong suit, so I just kind of experimented and gave it a go. I actually stacked all my pennies and taped them into bundles of five, and I made a little jig so that I could drill five pennies so that when it was time, I could just like bam, 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 knock them out, drill press and a little assembly line real quick. This wasn't one of those things where it's super hard, it's just time consuming and a bunch of work. So even though this dress is made of pennies, it's still a dress and it still needs a pattern. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drape the pattern and then just make the penny pieces in the shape of the pattern pieces. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So first we gotta make the pattern. These are the patterns I draped. They're pretty basic, but they should work. Now I just need to chain mail pennies into these shapes. My plan for this dress was to basically use the pennies and sew them together into a chain mail. I've never done anything like this, and when I started looking into how chain mail was actually made, I realized it's kind of different because chain mail is made of rings, not discs. So when you use chain mail techniques and you connect the pennies on the four points, like you would in a chain mail, you actually get this very spaced out look. It's very see-through, nothing's overlapping. It's very similar to the Paco Rabanne dresses, and that's a cool look, but it's not what I'm going for. So I looked a little more, and I actually found something called scale mail. It looks like this awesome, like, fantasy dragon mail, and it's actually made of these solid scales, not rings. They connect and they overlap, so you don't really see the connections, and it creates this very cohesive, not see-through look, which is what I wanted. So I ended up basing my chain mail style off of scale mail rather than chain mail. I had to modify it a bit, but I found if I drilled three holes on the top of each penny, I could connect them on the sides and then sew a penny on top with the top hole and get this nice little triangle. And then you just repeat that on the sides and and you repeat that going downward and you can create this scale mail. I didn't really know what I was doing chain mailing so I wanted to start with what I thought would be the hardest part which is the boob cups. So we are about three hours of chain mailing in and I got this little guy. It's gonna be like the first boob. I think it actually turned out pretty good. It looks good on the dress form. Now we just gotta make a lot more. So this is what the front is going to look like so far. Once you go and connect these two together, it'll round up to form like a cup for my chest. For this bodice part, I'm going to be actually sewing it while it's on the mannequin, just so I can get it so it's going to curve around the shapes really well, a little better than it would if I were to just be like sewing it flat and then attaching the pieces. I'm really like weaving it onto this shape of the dress. All right, so I did it. I made it around the boobs. Both sides are a little bit different, but they're sisters, they're not twins, and I think it looks really good. So, I did it. I added a couple quick straps out of pennies and gave it a try on, and it actually looked way, way cooler than I thought it would. <laughs> it's cold for like the first two minutes when you put it on, but then it like heats up to your skin really quick. I just, it feels like not that bad. It's a little bit heavy, but not that bad. The biggest thing is that just like currently, 
It is backless and I think it's gonna stay backless just because that's a lot of chain mail to make. But with the top done and I was feeling pretty good about it, I could get into part two, the skirt. The skirt's actually a lot easier to make because it's just a flat shape. The downside of the skirt is it's just a lot of pennies, like sheer surface area, a lot larger. At this point, I only had about 250 pennies left, so it was back into like penny making chain mail mode. Um, in my car on a penny hunt because I'm about a thousand pennies short and I'm driving around to all my friends' houses and they're giving me their pennies. I got more pennies! And then same process, washing them, stacking them, drilling them, and then it was time to chain mail. I don't want this video to get too boring, but there's a solid 20 to 30 hours of video footage of me just straight chain mailing pennies. All throughout December, wherever I went, I chain mailed pennies, and that's what I did. <laughs> Again, if I had known it would have been this much work, I wouldn't have done it, but I didn't know. So I think we have made enough to the point where I can kind of start to put it together into a skirt shape, and that's what we're gonna do. And this actually worked surprisingly well. It was easier to chain mail in small pieces, and they all came together to make the perfect shape. It's starting to really look like a skirt. Whoa, it looks like a skirt. That's looking like a skirt. It's actually pretty heavy and it's getting heavier than I expected, but it's like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I really love it. After I had the skirt in the top, it was just a matter of connecting those two parts and that's it. Connecting those two parts actually took so long. <laughs> Like that was a solid maybe 15 to 20 hours of pennying because I had to pretty much do that one by one on the dress form. Look at her, she is looking like a dress. I've been slowly sewing the two pieces together. Got a little bit more to fill in and then I'm gonna be done with the front. It's a dress. <laughs> So I tried it on for the first time and not only was it super heavy, but it was so heavy it broke my straps. <sighs> and I actually ended up having to use fishing line, 30 pound fishing line on the straps so it would hold up the entire dress. Cause this dress I think weighs around like 10 pounds. Y'all, y'all, I'm cold. This is heavy, but it's done. This is the first try on. <gasps> That's a dress. Oh, I think it needs some jingle jangle at the bottom. So I decided to add a little fringe. I just strung pennies together and hung them on the bottom. And I think it turned out really cute. It gives the whole dress a lot more movement, a lot more sound. And I think it's just very like flapper style when you do it like this. Isn't that like super jangly? But once the fringe was added, the penny dress was totally done. It is ready to wear. Just for fun, I also made a couple other like coin accessories to complete the whole look. But then I just got some fancy hair and makeup on and this is the final look. And with that, I think it's time for our fancy montage. This dress took about 2,500 pennies. Hello, editing Shay here. Um, I just counted the exact number of pennies in this dress is 2,652. $26.52. So materials wise, it's not bad. It's only like maybe 20 bucks, but this thing is heavy and you feel it. <laughs> After a while of wearing this dress, my shoulders started getting really red just from the weight of all the pennies. This dress is not practical in any way, shape, or form. You can't sit in it because pennies don't bend. And to get into this dress, I actually had to wiggle into it. It just kind of has to go in vertically. You have to swim into it. But even with how impractical it is, I really do love this dress and I'm really proud of how it came out. When it's in the shade, you can really see that it's made of pennies and it has this very like gradient, different colors of penny effect. But when it goes into sunlight, it just sparkles. And it really does look like scales or armor and you really see that like this is a metal dress. I love that from far away it just kind of looks like a funky dress, but when you get up close you can see that it's just tons and tons of pennies. 
And speaking of a whole lot of pennies, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Cash App. Cash App is an app where you can send and receive money, so you can use it to send money between friends, pay back for things, split bills, even pay rent or that sort of thing. So if you're looking for an app to send and receive money, you can use code YouTube and get $15 for free. It's just free money. That's like half the cost of this penny dress, so <laughs> you can make a penny crop top. Cash App is free to download in both the App Store and the Google Play Store, and if you're interested and learning more about that, you can check out the link in the description below. Thank you Cash App so much for sponsoring this video. The only reason I can make dresses like this is because of sponsors that support cool things. So thank you for helping me make a dress out of pennies. And on that note, back to the penny dress. In general, I really did enjoy this project. It was a lot of fun. It was something new, which was a cool challenge. And I didn't realize how relaxing just like sewing pennies could be. That being said, I'm never gonna do it again. My hands are actually beat up and poked and cut all along the tips from drilling and working with metal for like a whole month. The next project is going to be something soft and nice and fabric-y because my hands need a break. But as always, for consistent sewing updates, you can always check out Instagram. I'm a lot more consistent on there. I try and post like at least every other day. And I always have polls like asking how I should make things and even like what project I should make next. So I think there's gonna be a poll up there right about now-ish of what I should make next. <laughs> but with all that said, um, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time and bye-bye. I just finished the photo shoot for this dress and I kid you not, every single part of me smells like pennies. I wanna take a shower. <laughs>